Tiny Tots have proven their worth to become a member of this year's ninth graduation batch. Let us all now welcome our tiny graduates as they come marching in, the flag bearer leading the march, accompanying the dignitaries of the day, our principal, Father Melvin Anil Lobo SJ, Rector, Father Melvin Joseph Pinto, Chief Guest, Ms. Kavita B. Das, Kindergarten Coordinator, Ms. Apana Suresh, and the Kindergarten Teachers. Please welcome them with a standing ovation. May I request our little graduates to assemble for the prayer song? Prayer is not only asking, but an attitude of mind which produces an atmosphere in which asking is perfectly natural. So, to begin this auspicious occasion, may I request our young graduates to invoke the Almighty through a prayer song.
you, dear students. Please take your seats. Welcome the new morning with a smile on your face, love in your heart and a good thought in your mind. To give a red carpet welcome to everyone assembled here and to know more about our chief guest, I request Ms. Avril Rebello, kindergarten teacher, to deliver the welcome address and introduce our esteemed chief guest. A loving word of hearty welcome from the heart is the sweetest of all things in life. Good morning, one and all gathered here. I, Avril Rebello, am extremely delighted to stand before you and welcome you all to the graduation ceremony of kindergarten. Today marks a significant milestone in the lives of our little graduates who have completed their two years of formal education. You have made Lots of friends, learn your ABCs, your numbers, and loads of fun too. And now, you are all off to the primary section of our school. So three cheers to our little graduates. Every individual is talented in their way. Everyone has their area of interest, hobbies, and passion. Today's chief guest is one such educator who brought about a change and made a difference in many young lives. With immense pleasure, I would like to welcome today's chief guest, Mrs. Kavita B. Das. She holds a BSc and a BA degree and has a rich experience of almost three decades in the field of education, including 18 years of diverse experience in CBSC, Gulf Board from Sultanate of Oman. She began her own school in 2011 named Progressive Kids Garden at Kuttar, Mangalore and teamed up with Little Ellie Group since 2017. She believes in the thought, service to the kids is service to the nation. Henceforth, she has dedicated her entire career into pre-primary education. We are fortunate to have you as a chief guest on this great occasion. On behalf of the principal, staff, and students of St. Aloysius Gonzaga School, I take this opportunity to extend a cordial welcome to you, ma'am. May I request our kindergarten coordinator, Ms. Aparna Suresh, to give a flower plant to our chief guest. Thank you, Father. I'm privileged to have the chance to accord a genial welcome to our rector, Father Melvin Joseph Pinto SJ, for being with us today. Father, we are indeed privileged to have you in our midst. On behalf of all of us gathered here, I extend a warm welcome to you, Father. Now I request our kindergarten coordinator, Ms. Aparna Suresh, to welcome our rector with a flower plant. Thank you, ma'am. A warm welcome to our principal, Father Melvin Anil Lobo SJ, who is a strong pillar of support and motivation and who, with his selfless attitude, always guides us and makes events memorable for all of us. It is my privilege to welcome you, Father, on this joyous occasion. I am extremely pleased to welcome a coordinator, Ms. Aparna Suresh, who always brings a winning attitude in all of us. Welcome, ma'am. 
to the parents of our graduates, a hearty welcome to you. Thank you for your unwavering support. Your love and encouragement have been instrumental in helping our students achieve their goals. I'm happy and delighted as I welcome the media people and the photographer. I express my cordial welcome to all the teachers who plant the seeds of knowledge with love and patiently nurture their growth to produce tomorrow's dream. Welcome, dear teachers. I would like to welcome the non-teaching staff for all their wholehearted support. And finally, I would like to welcome our little graduates on this memorable day. I want to say that all of us are incredibly proud of you. You have worked hard and strived for the best this year. We would like to wish you all the very best as you embark on your next adventure in life. Always remember, it doesn't matter how far you go as long as you do not stop. Once again, a hearty welcome to one and all. Thank you, ma'am, for the warm words of welcome. I take immense pleasure in requesting our dear principal, Father Melvin Anil Lobo SJ, the sculptor of determination and self-confidence who incessantly chisels the, the excellence of the individuals to present the graduates to our rector, Father Melvin Joseph Pinto SJ. I request our little graduates to please rise Dear Rector and Vice President of Manglo Jesuit Educational Society, Father Melvin Joseph Pinto S.J., may I present to you the students who have completed the required course of study prescribed for two years kindergarten program and request you on behalf of the faculty to confer on them the title they deserve. In testimony of your conduct and performance and upon the recommendation of the faculty of St. Loisius Gonzaga School, this, the school confers upon you the title and honor of St. Aloysius Gonzaga Kindergartner, confirmed and acknowledged by the Great Seal of Kindergarten. Thank you, Father. Students, kindly be seated. You will now be receiving your diplomas, and may I request esteemed chief guest, Ms. Kavita Bidas, to honor the students with diplomas and mementos. I request Ms. Rashmi to read the names of graduating students. to everyone present here. I present before you the graduating students of KG2A, Ikra Shamir Ali, Adin Rishon Pinto,
Lishani V. Atarv Prabhu Enoch Adam Fernandez Rayansh Bivi Sean De Souza Sian Aliza Prabhakar Anaira Isabella Rosario Yakshita Sharma Muhammad Mirzan Minshad Kelista Abraham Dia de Souza M.K. Sanvi the Chemma Gyan Pavan Raj Adit Ashwin Shetty Edora Lorraine de Souza Arnabanti Datta Catherine Megan Randall
Ryle Winston de Souza, you Aditya Nayak. Mohammad Am Ashraf Luth Nayaz Ibrahim Wait, 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 wait. Akshat Bhatak Thank you Mrs. Das for gracing the occasion and doing the honours. I would now like to request Ms. Ribello to take over. May I now request our rector, Father Melvin Joseph Pinto SJ, to honor the graduates of KG2B. Vivan Venkatesh Kamath, Riyan Sujit. Alan Alima Khalil Mahima Shrinika Rao Odela Viveka Sri Mivan Matthew Gabriel Lobo Aiden Esaias de Souza Hamza Faizan Khan Nidhi Malia Yu Aran Ali Khalil
द्रोण पनाबूर भंडारकर सेरी एमिली लोबो हेवेली दिवीना डिसोजा डीलन जेस रॉड्रिगस लूक आरव सोन्स श्रीयान एस प्रसाद फातिमा हया आयलिन कारट अनाइरा दिशा चौधरी भरत शेट्टी एनोरा जिया फर्नांडिस नीव लक्ष्मी दीपक दिवोना क्रिस्टीना पिंटो Sheldon Dario Sanctis Thank you father for honoring the graduates may i now request ma'am Anita Nazrat to take over Good morning everyone may i now request father Melvin Anil Lobo Eshi to honor the graduates Sarvika Nagaraj Gowda Hajira Suhail Prince Ross Cortres Dritil Bandari Asna Fatima Leo Ammanna Leo 
ലൗകിയ ഡി തെൻസിൻ ബർപ്പ അബുബക്കർ സിദ്ദി അത്താർ ഉല്ലാൽ നിയോന ഡിസൂസ സുബാൻ കലീദ് അനിക്കറ്റ് ജി കാമത് ഇഷാൻവി ഷെട്ടി റോണിക്ക മൈറ റെനൻ ലെൻ റോഡ്രിഗസ് യോഹാൻ റോസാർ ഹരുൺ ഉമാർ റേച്ചൽ സിരിയാക് അമൈര ലിസ ഡിസൂസ രാഹി ഗിരീഷ് മുഹമ്മദ് റഫാൻ Earl Chris D'Souza Thank you Father Hearty congratulations to all the graduates Thank you dignitaries for distributing the diplomas and mementos may i call on a dynamic principal father melvin anil lobo sj to lead our fellow graduates in administering the graduation pledge i request all our graduating students to stand for the pledge Dear students look front stretch your right hand forward and repeat after me as a kindergarten graduate in the presence of all assembled here i accept the debt 
I owe to the alma mater for the training I received to love God and love people and for the learning in reading, writing, arithmetic, recreation and communication. I promise to hold the title and honor I received with dignity. I commit myself to do my best to practice the virtues I learned here. I pledge the best of my life and loyalty to the alma mater. Good, thank you. Yeah, put your hands down. Please sit down. Thank you, Father. May I request our little graduates to assemble for the graduation song.
a song makes you feel a thought and so we have our students entertaining you with their lovely voices and beautiful graduation song Wow, wasn't that a beautiful song? Give them a big round of applause. May I request the dignitaries to occupy their seats on the stage?
Each one of you is a fuse. And so we have our little graduates here to share their views on the days that they have spent with us. I now call upon Ms. Sian Aliza Prabhaka of KG2A to come forward and take the stage. Good morning to all the dignitaries, teachers, and my dear fellow graduates. My name is Sian Aliza Prabhaka from KG2A. It is indeed a great pleasure to share some of the precious moments that I've spent in kindergarten in the past two years. I have learned stories, numbers, rhymes, words, handwriting, and good manners. Apart from this, I have also learned many interesting activities physically, mentally, and socially. All my teachers and artists were very loving and caring. I love my whole class and I found good friends who are kind and helpful. Special thanks to Deepa Ma'am and Rashmi Ma'am for molding me and taking good care of me. And finally, to all my dear fellow graduates, this is our day. So let's enjoy and make this day a memorable one. Thank you. Thank you, Sian. That was wonderful. We have here with us Ms. Nidhi Malya of KG2B to share her views. Good morning, everyone. My name is Nidhi Malya from KG2B. I am very happy to see you all gathered here for the graduation ceremony. Today, I am going to share some great memories with you all. I learned many stories, rhymes, and other concepts. I also enjoy all the special locations celebrated in our school. I thank my teachers for teaching us, supporting us, and molding us. I also thank our aunties for being a good helper to us. I made a lot of friends and I learned a lot of good values. Being in kindergarten was a wonderful experience. Thank you. Thank you, Nidhi. That was really nice of you. We have here with us Master Aniket Ji Kamath of KG2C to share his views. Good morning, everyone. My name is Aniket Ji Kamath from KG2C. Today, I'm graduating from kindergarten. I enjoyed each and every day of my schooling, like play time, snacks time, story time, reading time, writing time, and all the celebrations like festivals, bunny day, sports day, annual day, and whatnot. Everything I also enjoyed with all my friends and learned many new things from my loving teacher, Anita Ma'am. Thank you, Ma'am, for loving me, taking care of me, and nurturing me. I thank my first teacher, Charlotte Ma'am, for all her love and blessing she showered on me. A big thanks to our principal, Father Melvin, Andy Lobo SJ, and all the teachers and aunties for making my kindergarten days 
so beautiful. I thank my parents for admitting me to the best school in Manga. Thank you. Thank you, Aniket. That was wonderful. We all must give a big round of applause to every one of them. Thank you. Raising children is an anonymously important part of life. In raising children, both parents as well as teachers use every bit of our being, our heart, our time, our patience, our foresight, our intuition to protect them and to hand. We have to use all this while training, while trying to discipline and imbibe values in them. Parents are always the first teachers of their children and school is a home away from home. So, I now call upon Ms. Fahima Bolar Ashraf, mother of Master Muhammad Amr Ashraf, to share her experiences. Climb every mountain, ford every stream, follow every rainbow till you find your dream. Quoted by Margaret Mackey. Good morning, everyone. I, Fahima, parent of Mohammed Amru Ashraf, have come here to represent St. Kindergarten section and share my experience at St. Aloysius Gonzaga Kindergarten Block. My son joined this school in the year 2021-22. Due to pandemic, the classes were conducted online for a few months. The month of November 2021-22 welcomed the kids back to school. Kids were excited to go to school and meet their online friends. My son started to socialize with other students and would tell me his stories about the happenings at school. We were able to see progress in our kids. This academic year, 2022-23, was a wonderful year. Children learned to read and do many other activities independently. They, were, they had a very good time with their fellow students and class teachers during the school picnic and many other events in school. We are able to, sorry. They had a very good time. Sorry. We are extremely happy and delighted to tell you that it is indeed a great experience and we are thankful to the teachers so who helped our kids to make a solid foundation in the long journey of gathering knowledge. We are also happy by the principal, the class teachers and the staff for their friendly gesture. I want to thank the principal, the staff for their support and, uh, excuse me, On behalf of all parents, I would like to thank the principal for his guidance and staff for their support. I want to thank the teachers for giving me the opportunity to grace the stage and share my experience with you all. Before ending my speech, I want to say a quote. You are off to great places. Today is my day. Today is your day. Your mountains are waiting, so get on your way by Dr. Suez. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing your experiences. May I now request our esteemed chief guest, Ms. Kavita Bidas, to deliver the convocation address. Good morning to all. Respected President, Rector, Father Melvin Joseph Pinto, the principal, Father Melvin Anil Lobo, Ms. Aparna, the coordinator of kindergarten, and the kindergarten teachers on the dais. Dear parents, 
and my dear children who are graduating, graduated today. It's indeed a very, what do you say, nice program. It's a pleasure to watch the young faces, bright faces in their gra graduating gown and waiting to step into the next stage and the beaming faces of the proud parents and the satisfied faces of the teachers on job well done. Dear children, you should be very proud of what you have done all these, all that you have done in these two years. You have worked very hard to learn every day. You have made friends, you played, and you have become good friends too. Well done, children. Congratulations. And now, you are like a young sapling that has been nurtured very carefully, physically and emotionally by your parents, by your teachers and by the school. Now, you are moving into a next stage where you will be facing a new challenges of life. May your tomorrows be bright and may you achieve your dreams. In this juncture, I would like to tell you a small story, children. You all like chil uh, stories, right? Yes. Okay. And you all write with your pencil, not with pen, no? You are writing with the pencil. So I will tell you a small story about pencil. Okay, so once the pencil maker, one who makes the pencil, before putting it into the box, he said, listen, I've got to tell you five important things that you should remember. If you remember these five points, you will be your best pencil ever. Okay, so the first point is, it is just remember you can't do alone. You can't achieve great things. If you want to achieve great things, you have to, to be held in somebody's hand. We have to hold it in the hand. Then only we can write in the pencil, right? Pencil as such cannot write. So, you can achieve great things only if you allow yourself to be held in somebody's hand. That's the first point. Second thing, Pencil comes in colors, isn't it? Outside colorful things. Yes, beautiful colors and printed ones and all we see. So what is inside? What is important is what is inside, the graphite thing which we write. So always remember what is important in you is inside. Third point, when it becomes blunt, we sharpen it, isn't it? Then only we will write. Then we can write in good handwriting. So, you have to experience a painful sharpening, then only you can become a strong and you can be a legible, you can be a good handwriting, can be written in that. And fourth point, you are allowed to correct your mistakes if there is an eraser at the back of the pencil, okay? So, whenever you make mistakes, what do you do? You can erase it, yes. The last point is, however small it is, you have to continue writing. If once it stops writing, we cannot use it, isn't it? So, however, whatever problem comes, whatever situation comes, you have to leave a trail behind. You should be legible. You should leave a trail behind. Okay. So, this is the story. The pencil agreed and he put in the box. It is sent to the world for selling. Now, in this story, we can also learn a, a, one important thing, moral thing, that is, let us put ourselves in the place of pencil. We are all pencils. We are created by, we are, we can achieve great things only if we allow ourselves to be held in the hands of someone. Who is that someone? The creator, the God. So, we should trust in God. We should believe in God. We should surrender ourselves in the God. Then only we can achieve great things. That is the meaning of first point. 
Second one, what is inside you is important than the outside. The wooden part is not important. What is inside the graphite part? So in the same way, we are all looking in a different, we come in a different colors and all those things. Our external personality is not that important. What is important is our character, moral character is important. We, if you are good, everybody will appreciate, if everybody will love, love you, okay? So the third point, you will be experiencing a painful sharpening every now and then. So what is the meaning of that? Whenever in life ups and downs, problems comes, so with that problem, you should not think, oh, I got this problem, how to go about? No. So you should get up from there. You have to tolerate any problem comes. So you have to tolerate and then only you can become a strong person in life. Okay? Then, the fourth point is eraser. That is, there is an eraser. You are allowed to make mistakes. We make mistakes, humans. Okay? So whenever there is, we make mistake, there is someone, to, someone will be correcting us. Like either maybe our parents or maybe our teachers. Okay? So when we make mistakes, we erase it. Do we write it again the same thing? Same mistakes we don't make, isn't it? So in the same way, when we make, when we understand that it is the wrong thing, we should not do that again. We should correct ourselves and move forward. Okay, the last one is you should continue writing, however it is, wherever, whichever surface you walk, you should leave a trail behind. Do good things so that people will remember you even after you go. Okay, so this is the meaning that we learn from this story. Did you like the story? Yes, okay. So being an educator, a little bit repeated and old advice that is read books to the children. Make them good readers and give some oppor uh, opportunity or give them some task to do at home. Let them imagine, let them do. Don't make their life very easy because this will help them to learn some life skills which is very necessary in today's life and make them stand on their feet and face the world. Then congratulations to the rector and the principal for conducting such a beautiful function at the first stage of this school life and it has been a pleasant watching and being a part of this ceremony. Thank you. Thank you ma'am for inspiring our students with your words of wisdom. A great leader builds character, inspires dreams, encourages creativity, builds confidence, instills a lot of learning, touches our hearts and changes our lives forever. One such leader is our respected principal, Father Melvin Ali Lobo Ischi, who will now address the gathering. Chief guest of today's kindergarten graduation ceremony, Ms. Kavita B. Das, Principal, Little Early School, Play School, Kutar. President of today's program, Father Melvin Joseph Pinto, SJ, Rector, St. Aloysius Institutions, Mangalore. Ms. Aparna Suresh, Coordinator of Kindergarten Sections. Kindergarten teachers, staff, parents and my dear students. At the very outset, I would like to congratulate all our graduates, kindergarten graduates. Let's give a big round of applause. Congratulations, dear students. You have completed successfully two years of your kindergarten program. And I'm sure it has been a wonderful journey. Do you agree with me? Wonderful. Very good. Dear students, you have successfully completed one stage of your learning. That is kindergarten. Do you remember your first day to the school? 
Do you remember your first day? Did you come alone? With whom did you come? Parents. Very happy to come? I saw you coming crying. Most of you were in your in tears, okay? Because you did not wish to leave your house, your home, okay? The first day was a little uh, uh, sorrowful or a little difficult. But that was the first day. Some adjusted in the, on the first day itself. Some adjusted on the second day and the third and the fourth. After a week, I did not hear any kind of cry. Everyone was fine. And after a few days, I saw everyone was excited in the school. So last two years, you have been wonderful students and enjoying your kindergarten. And finally, you have finished or completed your kindergarten and we are very happy to see that you are completed. Dear students, these two years, you have learned many things and we had three representatives from your classes who shared beautiful things. You have learned to read, you have learned to write, you have learned some physical activities, you have learned many things to identify things and many other programs you have been part of and through which you have learned many things. Kindergarten has put a foundation for all of you for the next stage. So it has been a wonderful stage of learning. Now you are moving to the next stage. What is the next stage? What is the class you are entering? Class 1, right? You are moving to the class 1. You are moving to the next class. And I would like to wish all of you, dear students, the very best. All the best to all of you as you move to the next stage of your life. And I wish that you start exploring things. And I want to tell you three words which you should keep in mind. You need to explore as you go to the next stage. You need to explore, you need to learn, and you need to grow. Three things. Explore, learn, and grow. And also um, invite the parents to give opportunities for your kids. So far, a lot of things were given, provided by the, the school. And, and now I want the parents to give them opportunities to explore things. Now they can identify, they know how to read, they can join things they can read. As, just as the chief guest has mentioned, give them books to read. You can give them certain things where they uh, like, you know, fit those things and in a playway method they learn to join them or learn few things. So give them opportunities to explore. And by way of exploring, they start learning. We also in the school give, will give them a lot of opportunities to explore and make them learn. So the next stage is to explore, learn and grow. Dear students, I want you to move to the next stage with this things, with this attitude in mind. To explore, to learn and to grow. And I'm sure you will do, you will really learn great things. So on this beautiful day, I would like to appreciate all our kindergarten teachers. Miss Deepa, Miss Michelle, Miss Veronica, who are the um, pre-KG as well as KG1 teachers. And your present teachers, Miss Avril, ma'am. Tell your teachers' names who are all teaching you. Miss Avril, Miss Rashmi ma'am, then Anita ma'am. So three of you, three of the teachers have taught you. Miss Avril, Miss Rashmi and Miss Anita has. Let's put our hands together and congratulate all your teachers. They have done a wonderful work. As students mentioned here, that they fondly remember them, they love them, and they have given a lot of that appreciation, encouragement, 
in their learning and at the same time in their growth. So it has been a wonderful journey for the teachers. Congratulations, dear teachers, and we appreciate the good work that you have done. I also would like to appreciate all the parents. It is because of your love and care, your wards have done so well and are ready for class one. Your, B, your senior wards progressing in learning, physical activities, social skills, and other aspects of their life. And I would wish that you keep them encouraging. Encourage your wards and they will really do well in their life. So let's once again put our hands together to all the parents. <laughs> Dear parents, because of the encouragement, I see every day, I have seen you every day coming to drop your ward and pick them up. Not only that, you have been in inquiring with the teachers how your wards have been progressing. And because you have been systematically making a follow-up of your student, today your wards have reached a, a great level of learning in their life. And I'm sure you are very happy with their progress. Appreciate all of you and appreciate all of you for making, for making up for this program. You have come, you are present for this program and you're, with your presence, we are really uh, happy and delighted. Thank you very much for all the support that you have been extending to your wards and to the school. Thank you. I also would like to take this opportunity to congratulate Ms. Aparna Suresh, who is the coordinator and mentor of kindergarten section. She plans and makes sure that everything is executed and keeps the kindergarten in her focus. Thank you, Ms. Aparna, for all your support to kindergarten teachers and the students. Let's put our hands together and wish and congratulate Ms. Aparna Suresh. And on this beautiful day, we have our chief guest who has graced today's occasion and given a beautiful message to the students as well as the parents. Thank you, ma'am, for gracing today's occasion. And I would like to specially thank our rector today who has been a, a very, very busy schedule, two places, uh, two programs, and then he has come to this uh, place for, for, for our graduation ceremony. Thank you, Father Rector, for your valuable presence today, and I'm sure he will deliver a, a message to all of us. Thank you, thank you for your presence today. Once again, thanks to all, all of you, all the teachers, and all of you parents, thank you very much. May our Gunza guides cross many milestones in their life. Thank you, thank you one and all. Thank you, Father, for sharing your thoughts with us. A genuine personality who has the ability to empower others by his actions is our own rector of St. Aloysius Institutions, Father Melvin Joseph Pinto SJ. May I now request our rector to deliver the presidential address. Good morning to you all. Dear Ms. Kavita Vidas, the chief guest of the day, Father Melvin Anil Lobo, the principal, Ms. Aparna Suresh, the coordinator of, of the kindergarten, the teachers of the kindergarten, the other members of the staff, parents, and my dear kindergartners. Some of the kindergartners are already up and about. I think they are getting impatient. All the same, I'm, I feel very happy being part of this ceremony where each kindergartner was called on top, wearing this gown, getting a kind of a, a, me a memento and going back to their places. Something that Father Melvin said, you know, uh, when they came here, many of them were weeping. But now they are raring to go. Where are you all going next? He said, first standard. First standard, very good. And which school? 
Yeah, yeah, your Gonzaga school. You love your school. Uh, just now, I come from a, another program from uh, in the college, in the St. Elvisius College. I was presiding over a college fest, and the chief guest was an old student, an alumnus, an accomplished alumnus who was a runner-up in the Big Boss, Karnataka uh, Big Boss, uh, this one, one Arvind K.P. Uh, and uh, he's a film personality, a motor racer, an athlete, and everything. It was such a joy to see this boy saying, well, I spent my time here and so on in the college. It's a school that gives dignity, honor, and everything of the values that you learn. I want to, you know, feel like uh, bowing before all these kindergartners. You know why? Because you do not know where they are going to reach. There is a dream, and that, that, that what they sang as the graduation song, that touched my heart. I have a dream, a song to sing. And then you say, this song to sing, I, you know, that to cope with reality. Reality outside is very difficult, and yet you have a dream. I'm sure the parents here, you all also have a dream for them. They also have a dream. We may think that they don't have dreams. They look at a good bus driver who driving the bus very well, that bus driver will become a role model. Everyone who really, you know, captures their imagination becomes a role model. This dream keeps changing, doesn't matter. What is important is that they have a dream of becoming big and becoming something. And you, dear parents, are the ones who are going to help them realize that dream. All of you children, you have a dream of becoming something big, no? Yes. One day you will become big and become like your mom and dad, correct? Yes. So you all have dreams and this dream has to be made, you know, slowly unfolded. I would leave you with only one small advice. You've got uh, our, our chief guest today who gave you the beautiful analogy of an, a pencil and what you learn from a simple pencil. And if you can do that, keep that in mind, that would be fine. I would leave you with a, just an advice. Dear parents, you are seeing these kids whom you love so much. You have enjoyed them coming here and I am so happy that you have come because every step that they take, every move that they make helps you skip one beat in your heart. Something happens to you and I am so happy that you have chosen to come here leaving aside your work because it means so much to you and it means a lot to them. I saw them from wherever they were trying to wave at you, saying, I'm here. And you would say, yes, we are there with you. That is it. And that should prompt you to do something to make them feel part of their homes. They may be young princes and princesses, and yet they have learned some values in the school which they have to slowly unfold in the home. I like the sharing of uh, Sian and uh, Aniket and Nidhi. Did I get the names? Where are they? Raise your hands. Sian and Aniket and Nidhi. My eyes are not good. I think they are raising their hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. You spoke so nicely. I am sure given an opportunity, others also would have spoken nicely. What they have learned in the school. Now you as parents, I request you to get them involved in the home with a small little works. How many of you, children, are you listening to me? Yes? How many of you wash your own plate? Ah, there are, sure? You're raising your hands. Now you're looking at others and all are raising hands. <laughs> In your home, you should slowly, if you have learnt very well to wash your face, then you learn to wash your plate and your tumbler. You eat your food, your mummies are not servants. Your mummies are mummies who prepare such good food for you. Correct? Your mums cook well? Yes. I can't hear that. Yes. Oh, that's the way. Your mums cook well, then you have to be really mummy's child, no? How do you become mummy's child? by helping her in the kitchen. How many of you help mommy in the kitchen? 
they won't give you the knife to cut things but they will slowly give it to you to do that very good put your hands down be remember this every time you will have to help mommy in the kitchen with small little things sweeping a little bit dusting the place keeping the place neat neatness all this you have to learn all you small boys and girls have to do a little thing help your dads when they come home when they clean up the house help the mothers this is the way you get involved in the home don't treat them like maharajas and maharanis they are not maharajas and maharani when they become part of the home where all of you share if there are men here the good men have come here the fathers uh, i suppose you good men also share in this no with your homes with your wives to see that you do something in the house together i tell you it keeps your family together and when you keep your family together your relationship will help them to understand what life is and they will start looking at you and dreaming big and so that dream comes not just by singing here but the dream comes when they look at you and when that will fire their imagination let that happen this is my only advice to you parents and to you children to become part of your homes to start doing things in your home which will make you all really a good family and from a good family we will have good students who there and, and the good students will build a good society and a good community and a good nation may god bless us all thank you thank you father for your inspiring words feeling gratitude and not expressing it is similar to wrapping a present and not presenting it and so we have here with us miss rashmi to deliver the vote of thanks namaste to all gratitude is the healthiest of all human emotions the more you express gratitude for what you have the more likely you will have even more for what you expressed for a very good morning to one and all present here on behalf of all our students and staff i'm glad to be standing here before you to express my vote of appreciation a special thanks to our chief guest miss kavita bidas for accepting our invitation and for being here with us today your thoughts were truly uplifting and exhilarating thank you ma'am i would like to request our principal to hand over a token of love and appreciation in the form of a memento to our chief guest thank you father I thank our dear rector father melvin joseph pinto sj for taking time off his busy schedule being with us on this important day and for guiding us with his professional acumen thank you father i would also like to thank our principal father melvin anil lobo sj for inspiring all of us to dream more learn more do more and become more thank you father A good leader is a person who takes a little more than his share of the blame and a little less than his share of the credit. I would like to thank our coordinator, Ms. Aparna Suresh, for building a great team and helping the uh, and helping each other. I mean, helping us trust each other. Thank you, ma'am. I would be failing in my duty if I didn't thank the wonderful parent community for their relentless support and cooperation. I would like to thank each and every one of you for being here and making this day a wonderful and memorable one. All of us here would like to thank you all for believing in in us to be the sorry <laughs> for believing in us to be the mentor to your child and would like to extend our appreciation for your belief and trust in us we hope 
that we have stood up by your expectations. Today is indeed a great day for all of you. The next of which you will be witnessing after a gap of another 10 years. So, kudos to the wonderful parent community once again. <clears throat> I would also like to thank Ms. Deepa Sequeira for being the charming hostess for today's event. Thank you, ma'am. A big thanks goes to the maintenance officer, Mr. Shivanand and his team for his hall arrangement. Sincere thanks to Ms. Shweta, Ms. Neha, Mr. Jeevan, Mr. Alistair and the discipline committee for their unceasing support. I would also like to thank the media representatives for their presence. A big shout out to all the teachers who have put in a lot of effort in making today's day a grand success. Last but not the least, I would like to congratulate all the graduates. Remember that this is just the beginning and you are a star in the making. Keep shining on, the world needs your light. Thank you all once again. Let us all rise for the national anthem. Kindly be seated. Sorry. Congratulations to our graduates of kindergarten, batch 2022-23. We are all proud of you. You worked hard, you succeeded, and now you should celebrate. This day signifies a new beginning for each and every one of you. As you continue with your journey, May you look back to this stage in your life with fondness and pride. Enjoy your day of celebration with your family and friends. Thank you and good luck. May I request the dignitaries and students to assemble for the group photo. Kind request to the teachers to guide the students to come for the photo session. Dear parents, before we disperse for the day, I request you all to proceed towards the canteen area in the basement for the refreshment. 
you are requested to pick your wards after 20 minutes from their respective classrooms thank you everyone have a wonderful day ahead